Hello everybody, Smokey Smokes here. Gonna be doing a very, very quick review. I have to get back to work in like 10 minutes or less, but I'm gonna be trying out this Sutliff Dark Honey Berry in my car. So, let's give it a shot. I'm just gonna really quickly, crudely pack it in. This is like a first impressions type video. I don't think this is gonna be the official review for it. I'm probably gonna do another clip or two, or I don't know what I'm gonna do, but this is just gonna be my first impressions of it. Because... It's kind of unfair just to do like an eight minute smoke and then come with a conclusion for the first one, and that's normally not what I do. So, just back in this little filtered corn cob right here, which I recently just cleaned, and the last smoke I had in it was amazing. I just tasted, I think it was Moon Trance I put in here, and it was extremely, extremely flavorful. I have this little like phone mount right here, and I got it like set up on my on my car on my car's dashboard. It's just I'm surprised it actually is like working out, but. Come on. Sometimes you just gotta go with the dick, you know? There we go. Alright, so first thought, mildly flavorful, uh, it is an aromatic, obviously, I, I forgot to mention that. My reviews have been getting sloppy lately, I've been kind of like forgetting to mention what's in it and what kind of tobacco it is and what the cost is, but most of the Sutliffs I've never been a fan of. There's a handful of them here and there that I really, really like, but most of the time I'm kind of disappointed, but this one's not too bad. So far. Little does that person realize they're in a YouTube video. See that? They just rode by. We'll know. I'll never know who that is, but he'll m maybe he'll see this video one day. That was him. Yeah, it has like a. I'm finally, gonna actually describe what I'm tasting here. It. I've had um. I think it was called Berry Nice. I think Hearth and Home made it. Hearth and Home. I don't even want to say that. And they made a type called Berry Nice, and it has that same kind of flavor. Like it, it doesn't feel like it's been flavored with like a berry flavoring. It rather tastes like there was a. Uh, they like use the fumes of berries or something, and they somehow integrated that into the Cavendish. It's similar to that. Light flavor. It's not very strong. Kind of wish it was stronger. Having trouble keeping your pipe lit or getting it lit because if you're using a Bic lighter or any kind of flame, you want to get that very, very tip of the flame. You don't want to get down to the base if it won't light anything. I know a lot of you already see that as common sense, but it's news to me. So. It's hot. It's a hot smoke, too. Possibly just because I'm puffing on it so much, but there you go. Look, I finally got it lit correctly, I think. Yeah, it has a fumey berry kind of flavor. Not too bad, but I'm not super impressed. But it is Sutliff, and in my opinion, I don't think Sutliff's fantastic, but I might be wrong. Although I'm not wrong because it's an opinion, so. Everyone is right, and everybody is wrong when it comes to opinions.
not getting any of the honey yet. Tell you this little cheap, like six, seven dollar corn cob is most like a champ. Get this over one of the Chinese pipes. I mean, I I did reviews on Chinese pipes before, but some of them aren't too bad. But just 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 get something like this instead. I have one minute. Not hugely impressed so far, but most tobaccos are like that when you first smoke them, and they've only been sitting in the bag for like less than a week or so, plus the amount of time they went through the shipping and all that, but... You know, it's so weird, like I'm looking at the camera, I'm trying to talk to you, I'm looking at my eyes in the screens, like... The actual lens, okay, that's the lens, that's me looking at you, but when I look at the screen, I'm looking at myself, it's... I'm trying to talk to you, but it's like I'm talking to someone else, I don't know. Now I'm looking at you, okay, but I'm, I'm so distracted by my face and the screen right there. Smoke's kind of, it's kind of a clean smoke, I think it's just because I'm using the filter right there. So I'm not getting like any liquids or I'm not nothing nasty or anything like that, so it's, it's just the smoke. That's what I love about the filters is that they, they filter out all that crap, but... It stays lit pretty well. I was just the one kind of screwing up. It was my fault that I wasn't... I could definitely tamp that down more, but... Not getting much of the honey. It's slightly sweet. It's a very light, almost like watered-down kind of flavor, if that makes any sense at all. So... Yeah, it, it, the flavor's there, but it's so light. There is berry. There definitely is berry in it, but it's not... Not getting much of the honey, and I'll give it... I'll let it sit. I'll let it sit in here for maybe a couple weeks, maybe a month, two months, who knows. And then I'll do a, like, re-evaluation, and then I'll put that into this clip right here, but... First impressions, it's okay. When an all-day smoke, it's not too bad. I don't know if you're hearing all these noises, but there's a train going by, and there's someone using some machinery somewhere. Now, doing a review in the car... Wait, is there a car? No. The review in the car is kind of cool, because a car is already almost like a natural recording studio. All of the materials in it, and the cushions, and, like, the space, it's just... It doesn't allow reverberation. It absorbs all the sound, so... Good for audio. Maybe not so good for smoking, because now everything's going to smell like smoke, but in a while, it'll eventually go away, so... For now, I'm going to call it quits. Not too impressed, but I wasn't really expecting much. And again, I'm not really being fair, because I just yanked it out of the pouch, so... I'll see you next time. Hello there. Smoke and smoke's here. I just realized I didn't need that intro because this is my second part of the video of the Sutliff Dark Honey Berry Review. This is, I think, the third bowl of this I've ever had, so... That first video clip that you just saw, that was me trying it out for the first time, I think that was almost three weeks ago. First, I wasn't too impressed that it was okay. Not a huge Sutliff fan at all. They have a, a couple of options that I think are pretty good. But for the most part, I've, I would say probably like 80% of the tobaccos I've tried from them I was not impressed with. Very cheap tasting. I 
playground here we have. And balconies and silly. Um, we have mostly trees in the way, but I feel like they're watching. I like to be alone, but it's it's so hard to find privacy out here. Unless I go out at night. But when I'm out at night, it, you can't see anything on the camera. So I tried to go to the park that I went to in that other video. I think it was the Moon Trance video. And it was packed, completely packed people everywhere. I didn't want to look like a weirdo smoking a pipe talking to myself. So. I just wanted to give it a fair review. I wanted to try this multiple times. Not just once and then writing it off. A lot of people might say, well, you gotta wait longer. You know, you have to let the tobacco sit in there. The flavors will build up. And let me tell you, three weeks is plenty of time for the tobacco to build up its flavor. Not very impressed with it. Again, the berry flavor is there, so it t doesn't taste like fake, like a sugary syrup or anything. It, in fact, tastes like they took the fumes of berries and like fumigated the tobacco itself to get that natural berry flavor. I've had that before with the Berry Nice by Hearthstone Home, and that was pretty good. That was It was very nice, it was, but this has that flavor, but it's got a cheapness to it. The honey, like, I guess they taste like a sweetness, but it's not prominent. Room note's amazing. It smells really, really good. But it's got that Sutliff magic to it. That cheap, bad flavor that goes away really quickly. Well, a good flavor ish, but that goes away really quickly, then you have a crappy flavor after that. I think the reason for that, it's kind of like a budget tobacco company, I guess, even though they cost the same as the others. It's like, they take really cheap tobaccos and then they flavor them with a bunch of flavorings and they hide it. And the problem with that is that the flavoring burns off extremely quickly when you light it, obviously. You get that flavor at first, it's like, hey, this is pretty good, but it doesn't last. Already, it's just kind of burned out on me. I put three whole pinches in here. And what you saw, this video is five minutes, five seconds long. I've been smoking for less than five minutes. And already, it doesn't taste very good. It loses flavor very quickly. At first, it's an okay flavor, but it tastes pretty nice. Like, oh, what's this gonna be? And then it goes away pretty fast. I keep looking at my face in the camera. Like, every time I, my mouth moves a certain way, my cheeks lose a ripples. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. And when you look at pictures or videos of yourself, you are your worst critic, so... I hope that dog doesn't start barking at me. Neighbors have dogs. My previous neighbors that lived there had dogs. And the neighbors before those neighbors also had dogs, and all three of them barked at me. They all had multiple dogs. But he's being a good boy or girl right now, so... I shouldn't be too resentful or anything. Other people sitting at the deck, people are allowed to sit outside and talk to each other. Just, I hope they're not spying on me. Because you never know. So, this tastes like ashes already. Maybe I was smoking too fast. I really didn't think I was. What you saw was raw footage of me smoking. So if I did anything wrong, let me know. I don't think I was smoking too, too fast. I was smoking a little fast, but, but come on. I waited almost three weeks. Flavor still doesn't do it for me. Oh, Sutliff. You know, are you a Sutliff fan? If you're watching this right now, do you like Sutliff? Explain to me why you like them, explain to me some tobaccos I should try from them, because almost all of them that I've tried I was not a fan of. There were a, a, there's a 
Creme brulee, that one's good. Vanilla custard is pretty good. There's been maybe two more, I think, that were good, but I've tried maybe, I want to say like 25, almost 30 at the most, and um, it's not very impressed most of the time. They have so many really nice sounding tobaccos, and I think that that's what gets a lot of people to try them out, is the fact that there's they have some of the best sounding tobacco. It's all these like, great desserts, and they do all kinds of stuff, and points for going all out and trying for, and do, having a lot of variety, but quality for me, personally, my humble opinion, the quality is not there. But that's just me, so. Uh, Dark honey berry, unless you're really interested in that berry flavor. The berry flavor is there initially, and who knows, maybe I was doing something wrong, that's what made the flavors disappear. But I'm not a fan, I do not recommend it personally, unless you really want to try that berry flavor, and you're a huge fan of berry for whatever reason. Give it a shot, it's not the worst tobacco ever, but I've had plenty better, so anyway, that is that.